Merriam-Webster's Word of the Year and the top 10 most looked up words of the year are chosen from those words that showed the greatest increase in percentage terms of lookups over the past 12 months from among the most frequently looked up words on the website at merriam-webster.com. Uh, there are about 100 million page views per month. That's a lot of words that people are looking up. And this gives us a sense of what people are thinking about. We're kind of eavesdropping on a national conversation and we're able to report what words drove the curiosity of the most people during this year. And this year the word was culture. Culture is an interesting word. It seems kind of like a bland word to be the word of the year, but we've seen a lot of lookups. It's a word that has become ubiquitous. Culture is a word that in any given year shows a very significant spike at the beginning of September. And we see that for back to school, this is the word that most people are looking up. And we also see minor spikes uh, at the beginning of the second semester and also at finals times. This year, it's different. This year, we see that the word has been looked up all year long. And this is a word that is academic. It's abstract. Uh, it may be the first time that many students are encountering this word in this very particular way. It's also a kind of a chameleon of a word that can mean many different things. We talk about big ideas like celebrity culture and then specific ideas like gamer culture. We can understand the curiosity that drives people to look up culture. The top 10 words of the year for 2014 start with culture and they go to nostalgia, insidious, legacy, feminism, the phrase je ne sais quoi, innovation, surreptitious, autonomy, and morbidity. So one of the words that was most looked up is innovation. Innovation seems to be a, a buzzword in business. Every business claims to be innovative in some way or another. But it also relates perhaps to the theory of business and the theory of disruption, which originated in a book that was called The Innovator's Dilemma. And to a certain extent, disruption as a business practice is, has a slightly negative connotation and innovation has a positive connotation, but they're kind of parallel ideas. The word feminism spiked beginning in June with the Hobby Lobby decision by the Supreme Court. It was a decision that indicated that a privately held company didn't have to pay for contraception as part of health coverage. And this obviously sparked a national debate and national discussion and feminism was part of that discussion. Um, Miley Cyrus also caused the word to spike when she invoked feminism as something that she uh, aspired to and embodied. She was also named as part of Time's 100 Most Influential People this year, and Time Magazine called this the year of pop feminism for Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, and others. Maybe the most surprising term in this list is the French phrase, je ne sais quoi. It shows the power of advertising to drive curiosity about language. Je ne sais quoi is the French phrase that means I know not what. And in English, it means a pleasant quality that's hard to describe. And it was used in a commercial for Sonic about buffalo wings. It drove a lot of traffic to our website, people who are curious about this phrase in French and what it means in English. Morbidity was also looked up this year because of the Ebola outbreak. It's probably because of a possible confusion between the word morbidity and the word mortality. Morbidity comes from the Latin word meaning disease, and it means the relative incidence of disease. Mortality means the rate or frequency of death, and comes from the Latin word meaning death. And that explains the possible confusion between those two words. Our list is data-driven. We don't choose these words, you choose these words. We tell children, when they don't know what a word means, to go look it up. But we, as adults, look up words for different reasons. We look up words to be more precise in our language, to confirm what we already know, or maybe to make sure that a word that we encounter frequently is exactly what we think it is. And that's a different reason for using the dictionary than we might assume. In essence, this year's list is a list of words that are playing an active role in our culture.